If you were to visit Enkita Ridge Vineyards on a sunny spring day, you'd never believe it was the scene of one of Virginia's largest wildfires in recent years. The Mount Pleasant wildfire began Saturday, November 19, 2016, and eventually scorched 11,229 acres. A total of 273 personnel were involved in the fire suppression efforts that ultimately saved the vineyard and the home of Dennis and Christine Vroman. We got word of the fire happening on Saturday afternoon, the 19th of November. We were up in Charlottesville. We came down and there was a fire behind the house in the mountains there. And for the next several days, it was touch and go whether our house was gonna be saved and even more importantly, the vineyard. Because we can insure the house, the vineyard and the years of unpaid labor that we have put into it we could never be uh, compensated to even keep it going. By Monday evening, we had, the fire had gone up, come up to the house on one side and up to the property on the property boundaries on the other side. And uh, that was the scariest night, that was touch and go. We didn't know whether we were gonna be able to save everything or anything at all. Virginia Department of Forestry firefighter Bill Perry helped battle the blaze from almost the beginning and was there when it stopped within 50 feet of the Vroman's Vineyard. Firefighters from as far away as Alaska worked together to save the property. Uh, being the, the local resource here, um, myself, uh, other Department of Forestry personnel, and, and um, some of our equipment were here the, the Saturday evening where the fire started. Uh, we were experiencing cold temperatures, which was a plus to us, but we were also experiencing 50 plus mile an hour wind gusts. Um, and, and in the mountain terrain, we, we weren't really able to, to actively suppress the fire like typically we are with a bulldozer and using our engines. Uh, we, we quickly resorted to, to point protection, just protecting people's houses and, and knowing that there was no way we could stop the fire with the resources we had. We've had some near that size, but in, in my 13 years, this was one of the, the bigger, more complex, being that there was a lot of structures threatened, a lot of private land involved in it. The fire on Tuesday morning came all the way down from the forest, this part of the forest, came all the way down, stopped right behind me, and came right up, right up to the vineyard, and that's where the fire ended on this side of Thrasher's Creek Road, and that saved our vineyard. The Mount Pleasant wildfire burned $5.6 million worth of timber, but it could have caused far more damage. Firefighters protected 82 homes and 124 other buildings from the fire, saving the owners an estimated $9 million. Protecting property and timberland is all part of the Forestry Department's core mission. We as an agency have the responsibility of uh, protecting the forest land across the state and ensuring that we have healthy, sustainable forests. About 62% of our forest land uh, of our state is forested, and um, so it's a huge responsibility. And we were established over 100 years ago to focus on fire protection, fire suppression basically, fire prevention, reforestation, and watershed protection. And to this day, those are still our core priorities as an organization. In an average year, the Virginia Department of Forestry responds to 1,000 wildfires that burn a total of 11,000 acres. So this one blaze was larger than a typical year's worth of wildfires. Definitely, we had one of the most active fall fire seasons we've had in some time. Uh, this fire, close to 12,000 acres. And um, this fire was unique in that much of it was on the national forest land, but it was also threatening Part, part of it was on private land and threatening not only a house in this case, but a vineyard uh, that's important to the economy here in Virginia. Ring says that everyone can do their part to prevent wildfires by obeying the 4 p.m. burn ban in the spring. The law has been enforced since 1940 and is one of the best tools for stopping small fires from spreading during windy spring days. This year, the 4 p.m. burning law is in effect until the end of April. Beginning this summer, commercial orchard and vineyard owners will get a small exemption from the 4 p.m. law. They'll be allowed to have supervised warming fires to protect plants from freeze damage. For everyone else in the great Virginia outdoors, the 4 p.m. ban is still needed and in force. In Amherst County, this is Dave Miller.